this is very Dubai. This backdrop is hard to beat. So this is Dubai and of course it's all about the VIP experience. So here at the show they actually have a separate VIP registration. No, you cannot just purchase a VIP ticket. It is by invite only. So we get to go real quick and show it to you guys before the show opens because obviously once this area is full with VIPs, we cannot film in there. So we just want to give you a little glimpse. Come with us. We tried to get in earlier and he's a real badass door guy. He would not let us in. Thank he's like, you. no, you're not VIP. <laughs> he's like, no, you guys are not VIP. So it's a registration area. It's a separate area when you come in before you even enter the show. And once you're here, you have a full concierge experience. So basically you tell them which boats you're interested in seeing and they will have a separate concierge person taking you on those tours, which is pretty insane. We've never heard of anything like that in any other yacht shows. So after checking in, keep walking forward here and going into the second room. I mean, come on. So you can wait here and relax until they're ready to take you on the tours. And then of course, there is a separate VIP area at the show where you can get a drink and some food and, and relax. And of course, in Dubai fashion, the VIP area is air conditioned. Of course. It's an open tent, but it's air conditioned. Yeah. So you have a bar here and refreshments and food until, until you're ready to go in. So now that we're feeling all VIP, we're gonna keep going and actually see the main and, um, entrance. Look what it says there above you. Enter, Enter the, the sea, sea state, state of, of mind. mind. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. It's 96 degrees today and we decided to do the intro in the air-conditioned tent before the show opens. Okay, so just to give you guys a background, this show is all about the vibe. There is such a cool vibe here and part of that vibe is awesome music everywhere. There are DJs playing like something Rico would play. There's live music, so there's tons of music everywhere, which is amazing. It has this super cool feel, but creates a bit of an issue for us because you know how YouTube feels about music. So we wanted to show you how this really feels and we're coming in early before the show opens, before the music comes on, so we can actually get to show you around and be able to talk about it and not just have like a music video. Let's go show you so the we're show. Going, so the entrance goes through this massive main tent, which is ginormous. You have lots of vendors in here from all over the world. Tronics, equipment, name it, everything is here. Another cool thing, like most of all, if not all, the Dubai marinas have a booth here, so you can talk to them directly. And what would be a booth of a Dubai marina without a Formula One car? <laughs> So because it is so hot here during the day, even though it is March and technically kind of like the best time to be here, the way they solve this, which is brilliant, is the show starts at 3 p.m. and it ends at 8 or 9 p.m. So you've got kind of the best of both worlds. So you yep. still get to see all the boats in the daylight and then you have this gorgeous night lighting and super cool air, like super, super nice temperatures. So honestly, I wish every boat show would be like this because it is fantastic. You also I don't mean, have to get up early in the morning. Especially considering all the uh, Florida-based boat shows, which are always hot. Every yes. time we have been, no matter if it's Miami or Fort Lauderdale. Come on, Florida, do the boat shows later, in the afternoon. Start later, keep it open for longer. I think it would be a great idea. I totally agree. So we get to film our boat tours also before the show opens just so it makes it easier for them they can hit the boats open and we don't have any music playing as well we're on the way to our first filming of the day Let's 
so you guys can see no one's here yet. Everyone's still keeping it cool. So Dubai International Boat Show is five days, Wednesday through Sunday. Of course, if you guys want to come in on kind of a lighter days, so maybe during the week, the weekend is going to get really busy. That's what we heard. Looking forward to checking that out. It is all in one location, so it's super easy. This is a brand new location, the Dubai Marina, which we're actually staying at. It is gorgeous. It is probably, no, it is. It is the most beautiful marina I I've ever been in. I totally so agree. This location is just stunning. By the way, Dubai Marina is the sponsor of the VIP registration tent. Oh, got it, okay. Okay, how about that? How about what? A little taste of a supercar blondie right here in Dubai. Yeah, what about the Sprabos here? I really <laughs> like that one. All of this is in-house. It's really the heart of uh, the technology and iguana. So this is hydraulically powered? Yeah, this, this is setup hydraulically here, powered. But you can have electric motors yeah, as well? Yeah, exactly. Here you have a head just underneath here. This is to drive the track, so two little joystick can put then forward to vent, backwards to go backward and to turn, it's like a tank. So the hull is very light and you have this weight underneath you, very, very low, so it's very nice when you drive on the water. Yeah. You guys, it's like 100 degrees out. I don't know, 40 <laughs> Celsius. I don't and know if you can tell, but it's Really, really, yeah, really we, 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 unbearably we, hot. All, we're all, we, all we're three all of us are sweating. Yeah. This is so cool. Like we're going down to the docks here, right? All the skyline behind you, and there's the big Dubai Ferris wheel right there in the background. And this next to us here, where the plane is sitting there, that's Skydive Dubai. So you see all these. There's another skydiver going down actually there. Right? I mean, there's literally people skydiving above the boat show, basically, which is pretty bizarre. Pretty cool, right? What a location. And then in the background, you see the entrance to uh, the Dubai Marina. This backdrop is hard to beat. Yeah. And that's where the dining in the sky is, too. You see the two cranes on the right there? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, that's right there. Oh, cool. Here are all the in-water displays, and we got a couple of uh, super and mega yacht builders here. It's really nice and cool breeze down here. And another pretty neat thing for the exhibitors here that they can actually do sea trials because most of the yachts are perfectly positioned to be able to go out. So unless you know it gets busier that they need to build out some more docks, this is pretty cool because yeah. I'm sure you can request to be able to head out and do a little sea trial. Hello! Hey guys. <laughs> Just filming me something. <laughs> So if you're planning on coming down to the show during the day, definitely wear comfortable shoes, something breathable, and make sure you wear a hat. It, it is definitely warm out here. It is. Experience cherry on top. Dubai International Boat Show actually has Nikki Beach pop-up inside of the show, which as I'm sure you guys imagined, Rico and I, first day we're like, we gotta do this. So our first snack was at Nikki Beach. Pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. This is very Dubai. Since it's taken us a while to bring you guys this video from the Dubai International Boat Show, we felt like it's only fair to bring it all back to where it all started and give you guys an update on our actual yacht build. So in the very first video on Naughty Guys, you guys see us in Dubai giving Alexi a call and telling him that we are ordering a bearing and which model we have chosen. Let us tell you what the updates are because we just got back from the shipyard. Exactly. So we had some exciting opportunities at the shipyard, which will obviously come in the future on the channel. And we had some disappointing moments, which we'll also show you yeah. all about just a true experience of what we're going through. In the future videos coming up, we're going to show you guys our layout and how many revisions we had. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's more than two. <laughs> Or three. <laughs> yeah, but I think we have a really good version now. Which is pretty bananas. We just made another change. Stay tuned. So that's all coming. So we'll give you full details on our layout. That's all coming in the next couple of weeks. 
and we'll tell you all the updates and uh, fresh video fresh pictures <laughs> that will be a brand new video every thursday on naughty guys so make sure you guys go over there subscribe and click the notification bell it's really important and since we're on that subject do us a favor unsubscribe from naughty styles resubscribe because lately a lot of you are not getting those notifications and sometimes just unsubscribing and resubscribing clicking that bell on will just reset youtube's algorithm because they've done some major algorithm changes and a lot of you are not getting our notifications for the videos or so, seeing the new videos in their feed actually exactly so that would be a good way i know some of you are messaging us and asking about it that's what i would recommend doing so do that for both channels unsubscribe resubscribe click the bell should be all set. So you now officially having two videos a week from us. <laughs> yep. And if it's not enough and you guys want to see more of us, consider joining us on the Patreon. We are putting out a lot of extra content and real life updates on Naughty Guys. We are following it in order. So it's really the videos are coming out just in proper order of the build. But on our Patreon, if you don't have the patience to wait, you can at least see like where we are at the current stage and see what's happening and then go back and kind of watch how the journey is coming to this and point. And if you're not a huge fan of Patreon, then at least check out our Instagram accounts. Pages. Why would you not be a fan of Patreon? I don't know. <laughs> so check out our Instagram pages. The links are somewhere on the screen here. Anyways, let's get back to the Dubai International Boat Show. The concept of Eva Yacht is really like, this is your beach club. The whole yacht is a beach club. This sun pad just got a lot bigger and a lot more comfortable. So how do you deploy the anchor? We have our high-low table, but it's not just table. Also, if you don't want to have a table, you just want to have a seating area, it goes all the way down. At some of the other yacht shows, you do get to see yachts at night with the lights on as a special event or one of the evenings. But what's really cool about this boat show is that you get to have this experience every single day of the show. And the yachts really do come alive with the lights on. The temperature is absolutely perfect. So I feel like this is the time to be here in the evening. It's fabulous. And you've got this insane skyline behind. to come to a yacht show and discover some new brands to us. This pavilion behind me is all proudly UAE. So all the brands in here are designed and made right here in UAE. So let's go make some friends. Jazz Marine, new brand to me. So let's go find out what they're all about. Well, I hope we find somebody who can are help us. Are you Jazz Marine? Yes. Sir. Is that, am I saying it right? Yes, Jazz Marine, yes. Awesome. <laughs> what is your name? It's Mohammed Al Shadi. Mohammed. CEO, perfect. Oh, All right, we we'll landed on the right person. What is your name? She is Noor Al Shadi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, we are super curious because a lot of the brands here, you know, these brands here are new to us. We are from US, from Los Angeles, actually. If you could describe what you guys do in two sentences. Yes, uh, we actually manufacture boats from 15 to 56 footer. And we have today here on the shore the 55 feet and the 44 feet. And we manufacture fiberglass boats. What separates you from other brands in the area? Uh, what separates us is, uh, let us say, the uh, quality versus price and the product range. If you will see, most of the boards in the show are center consoles or catamaran in this way. We are offering uh, cruisers, day cruisers and uh, mini yachts with one and two bedrooms, mm -hmm. uh, including galley and shower, toilets, stuff like that. So 
that's what makes us different to the show. Awesome. Well, thanks for telling us, and we can do a little peek pick around. Yeah. Right? And these are outboard driven, right? Outboard. Yeah. yeah. This, this boat has the option to go inboard and outboard. Okay. okay. Yeah. And that's a 40 footer? 40 footer. 44. 44. Wow. 44. What's your 35. most popular model? Uh, 35. 35. 35. Let's check it out. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Very nice, very nice to meet you. Congratulations. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 It's like a day slash weekend boat. Yeah, so this would be there for most part. I could see why, because it's so versatile. Yeah. There's a lot of space, actually. You've got a little day bed there. Looks like a galley and a head there. Nice. Wow, it's really cool forward. So Jazz Marine designed and made a new AE. And the range is 35 to 56. 56. <laughs> All right, let's keep Thank going. You. El Falasi Marine looks like a pretty cool cat as well. I think the marketing manager is very busy selling a boat right now, so I don't want to take him away from the customers. So we'll see if we can catch him later, but. Definitely a cool center console catamaran. Looks really nice. A little yeah. sink in the back here, two fish holes. Yeah. Great little fishing boat. Oh, this is so cool, Rico. So when you catch a fish, oh, you just lay the it on the deck and you can see how big it is. And if it's over 72 inches, well, I guess USOL. It's just hanging over here somewhere. Anyway, another really cool cat made in UAE. Next brand from UAE is ASM El Suwadi Marine. Let's see if I said it right. Uh, El Suwadi Marine? El Suwadi Marine. Did I say it right? Yes. yes are yes. you are you the the El Suwadi Marine? Yes, I am Mohammed El Suwadi. He is. Oh, wow, we just name. keep getting lucky. <laughs> we are from LA and some of the brands here we have never seen. So if you have two, three sentences, tell us about the brand and what makes it stand out from the other brands in the area. We are almost a 15 years old company. Okay. And uh, we are very much customer focus. We, we, I'm a fisherman, I'm a diver, I'm a, I love boating, I'm a also a windsurfer, I'm a, everything related Good to water. Good for you! I love it. <laughs> so uh, our boat really reflects our needs. So we have tested so many things and we, I put all the things that I know in this boat. Our products haven't been yet, uh, you know, sold in the US. But the plan is not yet. This not, might not yet. this might not change yet. now. So is this your most popular model? Yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna so check it out later. Thirty-one foot footer boat. We're gonna introduce a thirty-three footer, uh -huh. and that will be able easy to ship it to the to the state because there's a lot of demand now in the state. We're gonna be exhibiting actually in Miami Boat Show. Nice. In a, in a, hopefully in, a, in next year. Awesome. Next Very cool. Year. Well, we were just we were there. We were just in Miami, and yes, it was just yes. as hot as here. Yes. Yes. Just yes, get, yes. You're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Well, I want to see this one real quick since it's your most popular popular model. Can we check it out? We only got a few moments, but let's do this. This is usually open. Ah, got it. And okay. here, oh. actually, you see here, there would be something closes, so you can actually, if you caught a fish from here and it's going, you can you go around this and come back again here. Got this it. is, you know what? This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant because a lot of times the engine well is open and you can never use it. You step on the hoses, on the steering hoses, and so on. You lose the fish. Having having the the the, the, op, the option to put a cover in here. Can go around. The show is over. Oops. Woo. For us, the show is just starting. Just starting. <laughs> How was it for you? Yeah, it's a good very, show. Very successful. So, most important question: Is your horn working? Yeah. Come on, help us out. Okay, let's do this. Thank you. <laughs>